Here I am, don't get your curls in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. Boy, what a mess. That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. No way, I'd be busted for sure. Excuse me. Yes? What are you looking at out there? The future of our nation. That young couple by the tree? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Striking, aren't I? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there isn't. I only cut down cherry trees. Family tradition, you understand, cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. Sometimes I like to eat it raw. Looks better now. The father of our country is gazing out at me. Wow! I can't reach it. Excuse me. Yes? I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. 
I've been thinking about what you said about pondering the... I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there... Oh, well, what do you know? There is a cherry tree out there. Well, let's go chop the sucker down. I said come down from there at once! Try to understand. I'm stuck in this... Voila! You're quite a man. Yes, I know. Get me out of here! I haven't done anything! Well, you must have done something or you wouldn't be here now, would you? You'd be out in the lobby with your tentacle owner getting dressed up for the human show. Owner? No one owns me! Gosh, no owner, you say? Well, don't worry about it. I'm sure someone will come adopt you before we have to put you to sleep. Damn that Dr. Fred. Hey, she knows the Edison family motto. Best not bother them, they're busy cheating. Best not bother them, they're... Dr. Fred, is that you? What? You're nuts. There hasn't been a Fred in the Edison family for 200 years. The last Fred was such a shame to the whole family, not to mention the whole human race. Where am I? You're in the ancestral home of the once proud Edison family. We were once the masters of this house, just as humans were once the masters of Earth. Now we are the servants, the pets. And not very good at either one, I might add. Oh, get bent, you overdressed nightcrawler. Well, who are you then? I'm Zed Edison. That's my wife, Zedna, and my son, Ved. Huh. <laughs> nice to meet you. How do I get out of here? If I knew that, do you think I'd be here? What's this about a human show? It's a degrading farce. That's what it is. These slimy tentacles put humans in humiliating little costumes, do sickening things to their hair, and then force them to parade their ridiculous talents in front of unqualified judges who are paid off weeks in advance. Didn't get in, eh? They said macrame wasn't a talent. Pointy-headed goons. I heard that. I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. Probably marked. Hey, they can cheat, you can't! You who- What? I have to go to the bathroom. Ha, that's a good one. Imagine a human using a bathroom. Come on, let's take a walk. Okay, human, do your business. I can see Dr. Fred's old lab, and his generator is still there. 
Gee, I could really use that power, but I'll never get through this window. I think I need to plug that in, but I don't think it's long enough to reach anywhere. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy! It's about time. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy! What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. I think I'm going to <laughs> throw up all over. Uh-oh. Time to visit Dr. Tentacle. your scalpel? No, of course not. Darn. Do you want to use mine? Uh, no. Hmm. What? Hmm. What? What? Just as I suspected. What? There's nothing wrong with you, human. What a letdown. Well, I'm late for the show. I'll send your keeper back for you. Oh. Sit. Stay. Good boy. I still don't understand how they can eat through a sucker. License to treat tentacles for the betterment of the tentacle race. License to euthanize humans for the betterment of the tentacle race. What? I shouldn't. He paid a lot of money for that. They've got the spleen mixed up with the liver. Oh, I've got plenty of those at home. Settings. Cook, jet defrost, and mutilate beyond recognition. They may be oppressive and power mad, but at least the tentacles recycle stuff. Hmm, it's empty. It's busted up good. It's really busted up good. Hmm, it's empty. Just the regular old flag. Looks pretty old. It's even heavier than it looks. It's even heavier than it looks. There's no way to open it. 
Why would I want to get through there anyway? It's a, there's no way to open it. Why would I want to get through there anyway? It's a two-story drop to the showroom floor. Hi, I'm the... Ooh-wee, you are one ugly human. Excuse me? Man, I'm not kidding. You are just about the homeliest homo sapien I've ever seen. Hold on. I feel like I'm about to sock you. Oh, so you're ugly and foul-tempered. Dang, that feeling always leaves me right when I need it. I mean, your hair alone is gonna give me nightmares. Not to mention your teeth, your clothes, your one eye that's bigger than the other. Gee, how much worse could I get? Not much, unless there were two of you. What is this, a beauty contest? Yes. Oh. Well, I don't know if you could really call a human show a beauty contest. It's more like a least ugly contest. Human show? Hot dang, sign me up. Sorry, humans can't sign themselves up, no matter how ugly they are. Go ask your owner to sign you up. Ask him to sign you up for a haircut while they're at it. The guard guy wants to see you in the kennel. He said to just leave all your stuff here. Which guard? What's his name? I told you, the guard guy. Why don't you beat it now? I've got a lot of standing around to do. Could I register another human for the show? You can't do anything. You're a human. This is a tentacles world. Don't you get it? Only tentacles can own property. Only tentacles can vote. And only tentacles can register humans in the show. Boo! Please, your looks are scary enough. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. I wish I had some sort of tentacle disguise. Uh, Zed? I'm tired of talking now. It's been a long day, and I'm only... human. Yoo-hoo, Mr. Tentacle Guy. What? Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Hi, my name's Laverne. I'm a sophomore. My name's Harold. I'm a thoroughbred. Is your hair naturally blue? Natural? Oh, gosh. This took several very expensive sessions at a posh grooming salon. I've got the hair competition in the bag. That's quite a tutu you've got there. Thank you. My owner paid quite a lot of money for it. My owner buys me anything I want. Where is your owner? He's not here right now. But he would be if he in any way possibly could. His bus broke down in Pittsburgh, so he's stuck there with the other owners. This is the first show I've ever done. Alone. What are you, uh, guys waiting for? 
We're all waiting for the human show to begin, of course. If your own is going to interview, they'd better get you some name tags quick. But then again, why bother? My owner says I'm going to win. I'm the most beautiful human there is. Well then, good luck. Who needs luck when you've got beauty? Hi. Hi. They both seem to be very happy about something. That might get a rise out of them, but I don't want to attract too much attention. This 400-year-old clock is an amusing example of primitive human timekeeping. It looks pretty well stuck there. Humans aren't allowed to roam free here. I'm taking you back to the kennel. Boy, I wish I had a tentacle cut. You who What? Get me out of here! This is a violation of my rights. Rights? You're a human, you don't have any rights. Ooh, I don't feel so good. Again? Tell me, Lieutenant, how do you really feel about humans? Honestly, sir, I think they're filthy, obscene, foul, sickening, like the stuff in your eyes when you wake up, like the wax that builds up behind your suction cups after a few days. Like That's enough, son. I just wanted to be sure you weren't one of those humanist sympathizers. What with this ridiculous human show going on here, there's humophiles everywhere. I'm no humophile, sir! That's good. Now, let me tell you about a little plan I have. What's upstairs? Nothing that you need to worry about. An old time capsule and some worthless human relics. And, of course, the showroom. Off limits to humans, naturally, except for the showroom. I'll be off with you. Nice clock. Rather, no one is to touch it, especially humans. I'll be off with you. Remember me? I'm Laverne. I'm very sorry, but there's nothing I can do about that. I'll be off with you. Scratch one kumquat tree. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Huh, this door appears to be locked. It's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. Hey. What is it? What are you doing? I'm inventing, you simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. 
Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. What are you inventing? It's a complex ma- Well, see- You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Hey! Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Hey! Only It's covered with plans and junk. Hmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. I don't quite see how it can fly. The Constitutional Con Amendment to the Constitution. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas. My name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. Filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing the Constitution for the United States. Right now, it's just a constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Later, bra. What? What's going to happen later? They don't seem to have gotten too far. You can look, but don't touch. Don't touch that, it's government property. It's big, it's heavy, it's wood. Sorry, I'm saving it. It's going to be a famous log. Question is, wh I assure you, who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left hand. Hold still, Jed. So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the mod? I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that... Where exactly did you come from? The future. Kind of spooky sounding. Gosh, it would be so nice if you weren't here. Sorry, hope I... Too late. Wow, doesn't even blink. 
Please do not perturb my model. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb. Wow, doesn't even. Please. Wow. Please. Sorry. Too late. It's Ned or Jed's head. Oh no! I've lost it! Oh, where hath gone the muse that once guided my hand with such care? Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. It's Ned or Jed's head. Creepy. It looks awful heavy. <laughs> 